Okay, I'm with Will Govan here, and he's going to show us his new Nissan Leaf Tech Tectra. How do you say uh, it? The model is uh, it's a Nissan Leaf, and uh, it's a Tecna. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to turn it on now. You just turn it on with a button. Yeah. Um, put the lights on because it's always safe to put one's lights on. Yeah. Um, showing that I've got 99 kilometres. And in terms of my range, I got 76% of the battery. Uh -huh. It's on eco mode. Um, I'm just gonna. This is the little gear shift here. I'm just gonna put it on drive. Um, I'm take the foot brake off. And now indicating go on to Farnham Street. Um, somebody's very kind of giving way, and uh, so it's completely quiet really. So we'll drive down, just take a left here onto Church Street, and uh, you can see. It's amazingly quiet. It's amazingly quiet. It's actually really, it's a really comfortable car. So this is quite a high spec car, which we didn't necessarily need, but you know, it's comfortable. It's actually um, a heated steering wheel, and there's heated seats. Um, And for you know, in, in like hybrid cars, if you if you were to stop at say a traffic light or anything, it would yeah. just switch off. It and this, it just continues. It running, just continues. It? Yeah, it just continues. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. What's your experience been generally with the new car? You you did have some anxiety, battery anxiety initially, really didn't you? Range anxiety. Range well, anxiety. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, it is a little bit like driving in the red the whole time because, um, you know, you have a limited kind of capacity. Uh -huh. um, I didn't quite appreciate how far away we lived from Cavan, how far away we lived from Farnham School. So we live in Milltown, mm -hmm. and uh, that's actually a good, you know, more than 10 miles away from Cavan Town. Well, it's a good 10 miles anyhow. And so you, we had underestimated how many... Um, miles we do, or to put it in t terms of kilometres, we would easily do, um, we could easily do over 100 kilometres okay. a day. You know, that's just going to school and back uh, twice, going into town, you know, and then milling around town. So, or well, going to see, you know, my, my mother in law, etc. So, you don't quite appreciate how many miles you've done, so you do have to take that into account. But in terms um, of you were you were doing those previously in a in a diesel car, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So it was actually in a diesel and was, car and then a and then a petrol car. And you find uh, that much more expensive. Finding it really expensive. Finding you had to put in kind of thirty quid into the tank every every couple of days. And um, the wonderful thing about this car is we just go home, plug it in, plug it in at night, and you don't have to fill it up and. The cost in terms of your electricity bill, you would really barely notice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, which is really nice. So it's not only economically um, logical for us to do this, but you have the peace of, of mind that you're doing something to kind of reduce your carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. um, and there's something kind of sublime about driving through the town or driving through the countryside. Uh, in the knowledge that you're not polluting the environment. Uh -huh. And uh, we've also changed over our electricity supplier to one which um, derives all of their power from environmentally friendly sources. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's good as well. So whenever you plug in the car to give it a charge, you're not thinking, oh, this actress is coming from burning a, a coal burning station in Dublin or whatever. Well, exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah, it does. It does. It, it does. Um, it does give you peace of mind, and and it's also very comfortable. So, what we what we did, in fact, we couldn't afford to buy new a new vehicle, so we bought one second hand. We got a loan in order to achieve that, and uh, the amount that we pay back on our on our loan is far less than what we pay in fuel. Uh -huh. You know, so it makes complete economic sense. The servicing of the car um, is very efficient as well. It costs about 115 quid for a standard service on the vehicle. There's very, very um, uh, reduced cost compared to a, a conventional car, petrol or diesel car in terms of in terms of servicing. Um, but they are, they're you know they're very reliable. And what about road tax? The road tax is is the lowest um, 
uh, band of road tax. So I think that's 115 mm -hmm. euros or 120 euros. Um, if you decide you want to bring in a vehicle from, from the UK, you're going to be paying, um, if it's a second-hand vehicle, mm -hmm. um, or even a new one for that matter, you'll probably be paying very little or no VRT because there's a, a tax allowance of 15,000 quid, and this falls into the 15% band mm -hmm. because there's no emissions. Um, so f from, from that point of view, it's very, um, uh, it, it's, it's very economical. Very good. So, like your overall experience of driving has been positive, but um, what what is the crucial factor for someone who would be considering to buy an electric car that that would be the biggest drawback? You think? Well, look at look and look at how much uh, mileage you do every day. Mm -hmm. um, now, it seems to me that most people, or a lot of families, have two cars. Mm -hmm. I am sure that. Um, Unless you are, unless both, um, you know, adults are commuting to work and they're going a, a long distance from 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 Cavern, then you know everybody could accommodate an electric car. Um, this car has a range of about, you know, eighty miles. Um, so for doing your day to day things around Cavern Town, it's absolutely adequate. Um, but we do have another car, which we use 5% of the time. So if we're doing a long journey, it's also, it's also a bigger car, so we need to carry a lot of gear, we can we can use that. But for most people, um, driving an electric car should be absolutely, absolutely practical. Brilliant. Okay, well here, thanks for the lift. Thank you.